Hey guys and girl and welcome to another Killing Floor 2 SDK guide by yours truly. Now we won't be spending any time in the actual SDK but will rather be in game. Despite this I still feel like it qualifies as an SDK guide because as level designers we all know that part of making a cool and interestingly awesome map is taking cool and interestingly awesome screenshots to present it with. Maybe even videos but we're not going to be covering that in this particular guide. This will be all about taking really nice and interesting screenshots. And the way that I personally do this and prefer doing this is by going in-game and using console commands. Because with those, we can do a lot of really, really gnarly stuff. So I've loaded up the Volter Manor map. We're just going to get right into it. It's not going to be a very long guide. And... Um, I'm going to be showing you some very useful console commands on how to set yourself up for making some absolutely amazing screenies. Uh, there will be a link to a web page that I uh, suggest you go to. It's a Steam guide by Dasb or Dasb. I think it's Dasb, the B. Uh, anyway, go to that. Check out the. He's got all the commands for the Killing Floor Two. Uh, the console commands basically that you can use and there are a lot of them there's a lot of really cool and funny and wacky and crazy things you can type into the console which makes a lot of really wacky crazy things happen in the game uh, how to open the console the console looks like this uh, how do you do that well this does depend a bit on your localization i am in denmark that means i have it on the a key which is probably a key that most of you out there don't even have on your keyboard. Most likely, though, the key that you bring up the console with is going to be the tilde key, it might be, or the um, the key just below the escape button. Is that the tilde key? I'm not sure it is. Try the button just below escape. If not that one, then try the some of the buttons that are basically to the, the very most left area of your enter key. It's bound to be one of those. If it's you still can't find it, I'm sure Google can tell you how. You might need to enable something. I actually don't remember if I've done that. I don't think I did. I think it is default. The console is enabled by default, but I might be wrong. I'm very, very sorry if I am. I'm going to cry if I'm wrong. So prepare to see a grown man cry or hear me cry. Now, we bring up the console. Actually, let's just... No, let's start out in the lobby. It's easier this way. We bring up the console. If you've got the web page uh, up and running, you can see what kind of commands you can do. You can play around with them. For screenshots, you won't really need a whole lot other commands than the ones that I'm going to show you. The very, very, very first thing you need to do, no matter what you do when you use uh, console commands, is enable cheats. Now, this will... As you can see, Sean Chaos has enabled cheats. Stats have been disabled for this session. So just be aware, when you enable cheats in the console, you can no longer gain any experience or progress on your perk levels. And you can also not gain any achievements. Those are disabled. So we have cheats enabled. We're going to ready up, get in the game. And the very first thing that I'm going to do when the game starts is hit F4. Boom. I just hit the F4 button. And... You can't really see anything happening, but trust me, something happened. Listen to me, I'm clicking my mouse button, but I'm not shooting. My guns are not firing. Oh my god, what's going on? What is this? Black magic. No, it's not black magic. It's white magic. No, it's not magic at all. It is because the F4 key is by default <coughs> bound to a console effect that's called players only and if you look at the the console command you can see that what players only does is that it freezes everything except players so this whole map the whole game right now is frozen except for me i can move around but everything else is completely frozen the zets cannot move they cannot spawn i cannot shoot my guns because they're frozen can i close doors i can't even close doors i can interact with them but they don't do anything so everything has stopped moving. This is really, really nice because... And once I hit F4, I'm going to do that now. Look, I can shoot. Hit F4, I can't shoot anymore. So that's basically a panic button. You can use it to stop time any time you want, but just by hitting the F4 key. And you will be needing this. This is a really cool function. Now that we're in game here, let's start taking some screenshots. What I do, what I like to do, 
I've got my console. I type fly, ghost, god, and I'm just going to stop here for now. Those three commands, first of all, god ensures that I cannot die. I cannot take any damage, right? Ooh, my time just sped up. What happened? That's new. Let me just... What the hell? Why did my time speed up? I'm not sure what happened here. I'm gonna, gonna quickly restart. I've never seen that before. I might have hit something I was not supposed to. Hmm, technical difficulties. That's typical, isn't it? Actually start recording a video and... Oh, right, I need to unfreeze time before I can do this. Oh my god! I am messing up so badly. Let me just restart the game here. Let's pretend this did not happen, okay? I mean, it didn't happen, right? I don't remember what didn't even happen. Do you guys? Because I don't remember. I don't think anything didn't happen. <clears throat> oh, hey, okay. Hey guys, and welcome to my Killing Floor 2 SDK guide on how to take screenshots. Yada, yada, yada. All the same thing over again. And um, yeah, hopefully this doesn't happen one more time. We're going to skip the long introductory, just get right into it. Enable cheats. I'm just hitting the up and down keys on the keyboard. That repeats the previous command. Time is frozen. It's not frozen. It is now. I hit F4. Time is frozen. Excellent. Good. Okay, okay, okay. Let's try this again. God. That gives me God mode. Can't take any damage. Fly. Allows me to fly. Yes. Ghost. Uh, not host. Ghost. Allows me to move through. Okay. So, <laughs> again, do not ask me what just happened. I have no idea. I mean, nothing happened. Everything is as it should be. So, these three commands. I cannot die. I can fly. And I can move freely through anything. Except myself. You can already tell that this is, this is really, this is nice for taking screenshots. Now, all this clutter, my UI and my guns, we don't want that. Let's remove those. Toggle, screenshot, I can't even spell, screenshot mode. Okay, so that is, that's an issue. That might happen. Just try switch weapons and retoggle and it's gone. There is also a command that hides player hands if you need it. I just find it easier to just retoggle the screenshot mode. Swap to a different weapon. I don't know why those guns have fl floating ammo in them. I don't think any other guns do. That's just a thing. It's a tripwire thing. So we already have right here, this is already an excellent way to take screenshots. We can move right down to the ground, get, get some really nice angles, go up a bit. And like take a screenshot like this and wait for the lightning to flash and just zoom, snap. Nice outdoor screenshot right there. We can go up here, take a top-down view screenshot. That's also really cool. Mm hmm. Now, there's also a speed command. I'm not sure it's actually speed. If you want to speed yourself up and move a bit faster, because we're still moving at regular walking speed. Now, there is a command for you to do that. I should have researched that and checked what that command was. Let me just do that really quickly. Speed. Set speed. It's called set speed. Right. So we do this. Set speed. The normal speed is one. That's default. So if we do two, we should be able to move twice as fast. That we cannot. It doesn't work. Maybe it doesn't work when we're flying, when we're a ghost. This is not a command that I usually use. You're going to have to experiment with it, but it might be useful if you can get it working because moving around this slowly for screenshot purposes can be a bit annoying. I'm a patient guy, so it hasn't really bothered me, but it might bother you. I'm just putting it out there. I'm sure it is possible to increase your, your movement speed. Set speed should do it. It doesn't seem to, so... Not sure why. Anyway, we are these these simple commands will allow you to take some really nice screenshots. But we can do it even better. We can do it even better because remember the F4 key, which freezes on un unfreezes time. Let's unfreeze the time and let the Zs come to us. Because yes, they still will come to us. And what we can do, just quickly hit F4 right now. Look at that. Look at beautiful, beautiful angles of these. Bare-bottomed Zs, they actually have really nice buttocks, don't they? I'm sure they squat. We can go up close and do like 
oh yeah, this is my Walter Manor map. There's some really creepy dudes on the photos, and I'm not sure if this guy's one of them. It might be. He's kind of bald. He looks like he's got cancer in his face, and he might have. It might be that guy. Hmm. We might never know, but come to my map and check it out. You could use that as a caption for your screenshot. I wouldn't recommend it because it was pretty retarded what I just said. We can do, uh, we can do, hey, how about some live action screenshots? Let's unfreeze time. Now remember, we have guard mode enabled. And the funny thing is, even though we're floating and, and flying, the Zeds can still attack us. And guess what? We can still attack them, even though we can't see our own hands. Isn't that cool? So we can shoot them, we can hit them. I have my knife out right now. Just be aware that if you swap weapons, that weapon will pop up on screen. And it looks not very realistic, does it? I mean, this is so unrealistic, having a floating gun in a game full of mutated specimen in worlds where you can fight in hellish maps of the underworld and God knows what else. So just remember, if this happens, go back to your console, toggle screenshot mode, toggle screenshot mode. Just use the up arrow and everything's good. But the gun is still there, even though you can't see it. So you can still shoot. That's very nice. So with this, we can actually shoot stuff and have blood flying around. We can do like, 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 like that. Look at that. <laughs> Look at how awesome this is. The possibilities. Oh my God, they are endless. This is so cool. Hmm. But, um, wow. Okay. I just had an idea. While this is really cool, let's go even, let's go even more nuts. What you can do now is you can actually change class on the fly to something else. Now, again... I don't remember these from, you know, from the top of my head because they're called some gnarly things. Demo does not start a demo. It makes you into a demolitionist. Uh, Dualies makes you into a gunslinger and gives you gunslinger weapons. So now I have gunslinger weapons and demo weapons. I should have at least, don't I? I don't. I'm an idiot. Yes, I do. I'm not quite the, the idiot I expected that I was. So I have a gunslinger and demo weapons, and you can do that with all the classes. You can even give yourself basically unending ammo by typing uber ammo if you need that. There is also a command that has, I think it's the no reload. No, it's not the no reload. I don't remember the command because I don't use it because it's broken, sadly. I really wish it wasn't, but there is a command that should allow you to have endless ammo in your clip so that you never have to to reload your gun, because when you're taking screenshots, it would be nice if you can just hold down the trigger and shoot endlessly. Sadly, that command doesn't work. I don't know why. So now I have uh, I have these. I can do this. I can do this. Boom. Oh, wow. We just got set time as well. Kerplow. Oh, this will be a crazy shot. Let's just get rid of the UI here. Toggle screenshot mode. Toggle screenshot mode. Get back into the game. We've got flying guts and vases and this big blobby Homer-like thing. Woo! Look at this. Oh, this, this game. Guys, this game is so beautiful. I just, this, it is just such a beautiful game. Glass shots. Look at that. Everything flying around. You got these stumps of roses and uh and eyeballs and blood pellets yeah you get the idea i'm gonna shut up about that now i i get absorbed into this it's so beautiful so that's another way of doing this really cool uh screenshots modes but um timing can sometimes be troublesome like the rockets and shit they fly really fast don't they you have to really if you want to stop time just as the the rocket explodes you have to be very, 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 very fast on the trigger. And you might miss the shot. If you're like a few milliseconds too slow, you might miss it. Let's say I want to see these set, this rocket right in front of this Zed's head. I want to time it so that I take the screenshot just as it hits, just before it hits his head, actually. I want to aim it into his eye and take a screenshot of the set with the rocket right in front of his bloody eye. If I want to do that by with this method right now, I'm going to have to basically... It's going to be a lottery, isn't it? Am I going to hit the freeze button just in time? This rocket is going to fly pretty fast. There's a good, really cool way of making sure that you can do this. 
Because in real time, it's too fast, right? In real time, look at these. They fly really, really quick. I have to shoot the rocket, then hit F4 just before it hits his head. I mean, timing it is a nightmare. What we can do instead is going to the console, type slow-mo. Now, a value of 1 is real time. That's no slow motion. Time will proceed as it normally does. 0.9 is slightly slower. 0.8 is somewhat slower. 0.7 is even slower. And I believe, but correct me if I'm wrong here, 0.5 is the actual set time slow motion speed. I think uh, set time is 0.5. So 0.4 is slower than set time. 0.3 is significantly slower. 0.2 is like snail speed. And 0.1 is really, 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 really slow. And you can go even lower. You can go 0 0.09, 0 0.05, 0 0.01. You m I haven't tested if you can go even lower. Maybe you can go 0 0.001 or 0 0.00001. I don't know. But I find that 0 0.01 is very... Did you hear that? Even the sound just went really, really slow. This is cool. Look, now I'm actually in game. I, s I started time and wow, everything is like woohoo, slow. Now I can do this. Watch. Uh, just shoot, pause the game, and look at this Matrix Neo Shizzle right here. Let's get rid of that rocket launcher. Oops. Uh, where's my toggle screen channel? I, I type so many commands into this. It's such a mess. Now in this super mega slow motion, I can just move freely. Look at that. Look at it. This guy's about to catch it. Look, he's seen it. Oh, it's mine. I'm going to catch it with my mouth. That was... I don't know what that accent was. This... This is a cool screenshot. Maybe maybe the lighting is a bit unfortunate, but something like this, right? Look at this guy. He's like, oh, my God, it's coming right my face. Dude, dodge, man, I got it. I'll push you out of the way. Dude, what's going on? Oh, I don't want to get hit in the head. Oh, please. It's so, oh, it's so awful. Oh, it's, it's, I think it's a rocket. Oh. Okay, I'm, I'm horrible. I'll shut up. Oh. <laughs> okay. I wasn't fast enough, but if that happens, which it just did, you can just slow t down time even more. Do like slow. Oh, wow. This is, yeah. Kerplow. There we go. If you need to slow down time even more to really like have the rocket brush his pretty little face, just do slow motion 0 0.01. Let's try that actually. Slow mo 0 0.01. Now it's going to go really... Oh, okay. We just actually triggered... Z just be aware of that. If you trigger Z time, it will default back to slow motion 0.5 and then revert to, um, to real time. There is a command that allows you to disable uh, Z time so that doesn't happen. It is called, if I remember correctly, NVZ time. It's on the... It's on the site. I didn't look it up. I'm sorry. Where is it? Envy set time. Mm, just set time. Envy enable set time zero. You type this in. Envy enable set time zero. This should be the command. It's unrecognized. Did I? Envy enable set time. This should be the command. It doesn't seem to be a command. That is recognized. I don't know why. I've never used it before. Supposedly, you should be able to disable it by typing that, but apparently not. Maybe they changed the command in some later patch. Anyway, it's on the list, and it's one of the things that... Just, there are a few things on the console list that aren't working. Like I said, the endless no reload command doesn't work, and apparently this one doesn't either. So you're just going to have to live with the fact that if you trigger Z time be aware that it will mess up your slow motion timing and you're going to have to reset it. Let's just do that right now. Slow motion point zero 0.01. This is very, 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 very slow. Very slow. I'm actually hitting him right now, but time is so slow that... 
It's going to be a while until I actually do hit him. Am I even hitting him? I should be hitting him. <laughs> yes, I was hitting him. It just took half a day. Fly, little, little clotty boy. Fly. This is kind of mesmerizing, isn't it? Actually, I'm j I've, I said 001 might work. Does it actually, though? Oh, <laughs> it does. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at this. Damn, son. This is slow motion 001. How low can we actually go? Can we go 0001? Yes, we can. There doesn't seem to be a limit to how slow you can actually move time. <laughs> Which is insane. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that's a thing. You can really have some fun with this. And it allows you to take some amazing screenshots. Like, you can swap to a weapon. Like, a, um, yes, I was. I'm impressed. Let me just get my toggle screenshot mode so I can see what kind of weapon I've actually got out. This one. Where's this one? This one, right? We grab this. We go to... Um, there's also a command to start the next wave, I believe. Anyway, th there's a lot of commands you can use. You can experiment as you see fit. One thing that's really cool to do is grab one of these uh, projectile guns, get into a slow-mo point zero one, I think would be nice, and just start barreling down. And the really cool thing, well, this isn't really that cool, but what's cool is once you have, if you want to move, I suggest sometimes just freezing time, go back to real time, that which allows you to move around. See this? You can actually see the projectiles you're shooting. You can get in some really crazy angles by doing this. We don't have any Zs right now, but we can... Oh, look at this. Just this alone looks really nice. So that's the, that's the guide. I don't really have anything else. Oh, we, we have guts. Nice. I don't have a whole lot else to show you. Uh, I'm sure with this, you can already get you know, get started on your own concepts, on what you want to do when taking screenshots. You can fall around with the commands as crazy as you want. You can spawn sets by typing spawn Z and then the, the name, like a core fast. Let's spawn a core fast. Hi, guy. Then we can go back to uh, freeze the time. We can go back to slow motion point one. We can fire some bullets into this guy. Unfreeze time. Remember, you have to unfreeze to actually sh uh, fire. Let's do the... Actually, let's do 001. That's going to allow us to shoot off. Very, very accurately. Get to the job. Uh, I can't do Arnold. Did that even... Work? I'm not even seeing the bullets. What's going on? Maybe I'm inside something. I might be inside something. Look at the, the shell casings. Oh, my God. Am I inside something? Or is this maybe slow motion? Zero, what is it? Zero, zero, 001 is too slow for the bullets to. Hmm, it might be. Let's try zero 001. This should work. Yes. Okay. So there's actually something going on with projectiles if you slow down time too much, apparently. Look at this. Look at what we can do here. This is cool. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't want to do that. Uh, let me try that one more time here. Spawn Z Gorefast. Hello. Time We're going to go to freeze. Slow motion 0 0.01. Unfreeze. Get back in our game. Aim at his head. Like in golf. That's what you do in golf, right? We fire the gun. gun. We s uh, stop time with F F F4. Get back to normal speed. And... What I want to do... You can already see what I'm doing here. What I'm setting up here. This is the kind of stuff you can do with this. Oh I, just, oh, I hit the F4 command again. I'm messing up so badly right now. Let me try this again. One more time. Then we're going to give up. Because apparently I'm debilitated. I'm a debilitated... What even happened to that bullet? It didn't hit him, did it? Unfreeze? Freeze. Go back to slow motion 1. May I might have actually run into the bullet myself. I'm not sure. Go to slow motion point zero, <laughs> zero, zero 001. Unfreeze. 
Oh, and it... Okay, it, it vanished. I don't know what's going on here. Sometimes things are a bit odd. I I can't I can't explain it. Actually, it's like he's not even there. Maybe he isn't. Maybe he's a ghost. Like me. I'm a ghost too. That's just too bad. So he, he's gonna live or continue being dead if he really is a ghost. Zero zero one should work though, shouldn't it? Yes, zero <laughs> Zero one works. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you find this helpful in some way. Uh, and I hope to see some really awesome screenshots from you guys now. Like really, really awesome. Just effing awesome. Or whatever. Maybe not. It's up to you guys. These are the tools that I use when I take screenshots for my maps. And even if I'm not taking screenshots, just doing this is, is massively fun. It's really entertaining. Running around in the editor, doing things in slow motion, just because this game is so good looking in slow motion. Look at that. It, for some reason, the flex blood actually doesn't run in slow motion. That looks kind of wonky. That's weird. That's a strange byproduct. Fly, little girl, fast fly to the sky. Oh, he's going to paint the ceiling here. Splat. There we go. I mean, how cool is this? Yes. So anyway, have fun, guys. I hope you enjoyed this guide. I hope you found it useful. Uh, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And feel free to show me some of your awesome screenshots. And if you find some other really cool tricks to do with these commands, feel free to share. Also, subscribe to Das B for his excellent console guide on Steam. And have a nice Christmas. It's actually December the 24th today. It's like 2 a.m. in the morning, but still, it's Christmas. So, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, take care, see you around, and goodbye. Quit? How do I spell quit? Oh, yeah, there's a T in quit. <laughs> Bye.